Hey guys, welcome to my video. So today's video we're going to do a little comparison um, on loads with the Bedini circuit. Um, this is a, a motor that I took off my shelf that I haven't taken any videos of yet. And uh, pretty simple construction. Just has this neo magnet three quarter by three quarter with a quarter inch shaft in it. And um, basically what I do is I cut this out of plastic. It's just a flat piece of three quarter. Um, drilled the center out and then I drilled all the way through and then put the um, I winded the coils I just put this on a drill and spun these all up and um, then after I did that I epoxied the bearing in there or the magnet and um, yeah once you do that it's kind of permanent but this is um, I put bushings on this way back when maybe 12-15 years ago um, it's just a simple way to mount them because they, they go in really tight and um, yeah, and then this is my typical Bedini circuit with the um, switch for SG mode or generator mode. And I just wanted to do a video about the different loads that um, how it goes with the circuit uh, with the output and the input and the speeds. And um, yeah, so I have this tuned right now for the 420 uh, resistor. And um, yeah, let's get this thing fired up. So. Right now we're running at 12 volts from the power supply and then after the circuit it goes into this cap dump with a 18 volt singer trigger. I'm the sort of charge battery and what we have to do is just turn it on. Most of the time it starts up so it's kind of cool like that. And um, let's have to see the RPM. So 25, 2600 RPM. You could hear it kind of went into a new gear right there. So here's the scope. So no oscillations, just regular square waves. And then here's our input. So 300 milliamps, pretty pretty solid. Um, not much on the output side. It's real real slow charging. And then um, put on generator mode and um, runs real rough at high speed. And uh, so when you want to do generator mode, it runs a lot better when you have a load. So let's put on the first load. So first load is just going to be this little prop. It's just a RC airplane prop. Serves as a, a little base load. And um, so we'll fire this thing up. So uh, under SG mode, our RPMs are 735 and um, we're using just under 300 milliamps about 250 and reset this thing and then our output has increased so we're able to charge a little bit more now so doing about two amps there every every about five seconds and then we could hook this into generator mode and um, use a little bit more power about 300 325 on the power supply and uh, but now we're getting quite a bit more more output on it going good so um, let's see what it was under generator mode so we're 671 in our generator mode so now we're going to put on um, this bigger fan so we're going going up and in, in load so we started with no load it running the fastest and least amount of energy return than the medium prop which had pretty good return and a little bit slower up here now we're going to put this big fan on here the 16 inch fan and um, see how this does so just remember it's just it's just this little tiny magnet okay so let's fire this up let's put this on sg Turn this thing over. So under more load, we have even more oscillations, and um, you can see this kind of this little couple up with it. <laughs> Pretty neat. So now with this huge fan, this is what we're doing with SG. So it's kind of going between 150 and 250, and then our output is a little bit better on SG mode. So 
Now we're going to put it in generator mode. So now we're going between two and four, and quite a bit more charging. So let's check out the RPM and SG. So now we're down to 340 RPMs or so at SG mode, and then in generator mode, about the same, 330. Just fluctuates a lot more. So pretty neat, you know. You you start with something that's spinning really fast, and um, you start putting on more and more loads with the circuit. You get it kind of tuned, and and that's a huge load, you know, for just a three-quarter inch little magnet as the rotor. It's pretty pretty impressive, and then you're still getting really good return on it. So pretty cool little circuit. Uh, the switch makes it really nice because you could switch it whenever back and forth while it's running. Pretty cool. So um, all these circuits and cap dumps are on my store so check it out, canergy.store and thanks for watching.